Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad, New York and New England, where everyone belongs. The Orthodox Union. The Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired. The Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. The Montpelier Sustainable Coalition. Central Vermont, Habitat for Humanity. Abel Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times. New York Parrot Online Newspaper. Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Ableton On Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter. Hello and welcome to this edition of um, Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm, I'm your host, Lawrence Seiler. On, I'm Arlene Seiler. Okay. On this, um, on this show, we will focus on uh, Golda Meir, uh, the life and times of Golda Meir, former prime minister of Israel. But before we do that, we would like to say um, special thanks to our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and many others, including the support of the Division for the Blind of, of um, Vermont, the Association for the Blind of Vermont, uh, the uh, Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, uh, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and many, many, many others. Um, welcome to Ableton On Air, and uh, now let's uh, get into um, the world of uh, former Prime Minister Golda Meir, uh, who was born um, Gold, um, Golda uh, uh, Malkovich, uh, May 3rd, 1898, and she died December 8th, 1978. Uh, she... Nope. Yes, um, the state of Israel started in uh, 1948. Uh, the, her married name was Meyerson. Uh, yeah. Between 1917 and 1956, she she was an Israeli state woman, politician, teacher, and uh, kibbutznik. Um, she worked on the kibbutz, which is a, a, a farm and. Um, Mm-hmm. Let me, let me see if, wait, let me get your volume up here. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Um, born in, born in, uh, in, born in Kiev, uh, Kiev, she immigrated to the United States as a child with her family in 1906 and was educated there, becoming a teacher after Getting married, her husband and her immigrated to then pa Palestine in 1921, settling on, on a kibbutz. Mayor was elected Prime Minister of Israel March 17, 1969, serving as Labor Minister and Foreign Minister. The world's fourth, fourth um, of Israeli only women to hold the office of Prime Minister and the first of any country in the Middle East. She had been described as the Iron Lady of Israel politics. Um, former Prime Minister Ben uh, 
David Van Gorion used to call Mayor the best man in the government. Um, she was often portrayed as a strong-willed, straight-talking, gray-bun grandmother of the Jewish people. Mayor, <clears throat> Mayor was the Prime Minister during the Yom Kippur War in 1973 and was caught off guard and suffered losses uh, in the first days of war uh, before recovering and defeated invading armies. The public um, was angered by the government uh, caused Mayor's resignation the following year. She died in 1978 from lymphoma. You usually get that from uh, smoking. But um, you know, and then um, when she was prime minister, there's a lot of things that also happened for um, people with disabilities as well. Anything you want to say before we continue? Um, well, she had a fight. She what? She what? She was a strong woman. Mm. Okay, let's go into um, disabilities in Israel because um, this is the main focus of our topic. Um, according to the, in terms of Golda Meir and the work of... Um, what she did in Israel. Um, according to the 2017 statistical report of the Commission of, e of Equal Rights of Persons with Disabilities, over 1,400,000 over 1, persons with disabilities live in Israel. Uh, again, 1,400,000 persons with disabilities live in Israel. Of these, um, 400, uh, 400, 450,000 are adults with severe disabilities and are often discriminated against due to their disability. Um, so that is, that is a huge uh, problem with that. Yeah. Um, uh, now, according to Israel, the, dis the disability definition, a person with a physical, um, a physical, mental, intellectual, including cognitive impairment, either temporary or permanent, which uh, sus sustainably limits a person's ability to function or more in areas of life. Um, according to Isra Israel, um, now if you want to find out more information about uh, Israel and people with disabilities and organization with disabilities, you can go to www.disabilityin.org forward slash global. Uh, so Israel basically, um, it, you know, has uh, services when it comes to hiring, including hiring tests, um, employment terms, promotion at work, um, they deal with training and professional advanced studies. Uh, they deal with severance pay and um, all kinds of different things in Israel. Now, let, let's go into some of the um, organizations in Israel with um, disabilities. Yeah, yeah, hi. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 yep, mm hmm Oregon, yep. Or Shekel, or uh, what's the other one? Um, they to give on the airplane. Oh, um. Hold on, okay. The special needs resources in Israel is as far as more than the United States, um, you know, because it has to do with monies and, and, and federal help and stuff. Um, 13 special needs um, organizations in Israel that you should know. The land of Israel is known as many things um, for people called the Holy Land and land flowing with milk and honey. Uh, and the startup, a startup nation for many names. Israel is well known for its produce, amazing scenery, medical, technology se sector, scientific advances, and much more. What many people do not know is that many nonprofit organizations are dedicated to providing services <clears throat> for programs and individuals with special needs. Following the Jewish 
precept of love your fellow as yourself. Uh, Israel has hundreds of organizations providing medical services, um, mm -hmm. therapy, recreational activities, advocacy, and residential options for individuals with special needs. While we could not include all organizations, we would like to provide you, or this organization, this resource uh, website would like to provide you with um, some amazing organizations and give you uh, an idea of what's available to individuals in Israel. Um, um, so there's one called Ale, and then there's one called Beit Isi Shapiro, which is another one. Mm -hmm. Number three, Chimes Israel. Number four, Friendship Circle Central Jerusalem. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, then there's the Jerusalem Variety Center. Then there's Kesher, which is number yeah. six. Number seven is Kefar Raphael. Number eight um, is some is an organization called Lotem, L O T E M. Then there's one called Shava, and um, and the list goes on and on. Uh, yeah, number, num and number thirteen is number thirteen is Solam, and there's also Shekel and a couple of others. So, yeah, and Yachad, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Shekel, yeah, they're, they're, Shekel. They're, 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 so that's, in Jerusalem, they have an office there. Mm -hmm. So when you get to this website, which is www.friendshipcircle.org, um, you can click on the organization. And it'll get you to the organization, which usually brings you to a website. Yeah. Uh, so on and so forth. More information about that organization. Mm hmm Um. So it's in Hebrew, but a lot of these um, websites for people in Israel, you can switch them to English. Yeah, yeah, um, I know. You, there's a button there. Mm -hmm. It brings you to the different services and so on and so forth. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, now what did you want to say about people with disabilities in Israel? Well, they get the services that they need and what they have to get, and they have to, you know, get the different uh, services that they that they need for their needs. You know, if in autism or what, they get uh, the program that's appropriate for them. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem with the United States, and, you know, this is freedom of speech here. Um, <laughs> the, the problem with the United States and people with disabilities is that um, um, organizations are cutting, 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 but yet yeah. other, parts, other parts of Europe and other parts of the globe um, treat people with disabilities a lot better than the United States. Why is that? I have no idea. Maybe it's more more caring. Maybe yeah. it's more they have it more more situated, more, you know, better. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah. Um now getting getting to the most important thing. Um as far as um Now, in terms of services and people with disabilities, um, there's, a, there's uh, another website which is really important. Um, if you ever go to Israel and get services, um, there's an organization or, or um, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly. If my Hebrew is a little bit off, please excuse me. But it's called um, Co. Ko Zerot, uh, which is um, a resource here. It's a Hebrew site. Um, now, also on the side of this website, um, um, if you're a person with a disability, you click and you can get services. Uh, children with special needs can get services. If you, if you okay. need health and illness aid organizations, you can get services. Yeah. And then government 
Um, so let's click um, general assistance within the healthcare system. Uh, in terms of free healthcare, they have this in Israel. Um, yeah. Social services within the healthcare system. Um, in, in, you know, uh, for more information, if you're watching um, from the uh, United States and you need to speak to someone in Israel, you can contact the um, health Minister of Health website. And um, let's, so let's click there. And you can um, speak to the ombudsman and other, other uh, different things here. There's an equal rights law for people with disabilities, similar to the ADA, but it's a, it's a lot stronger, especially in Israel. Uh, equal rights law for people with disabilities was passed uh, in 1998 in Israel and was a decisive, it was a decisive milestone uh, for the legal recognition of rights for persons with disabilities within Israeli legal system. Uh, the law anchored the rights of people with disabilities to accessibility and also laid down a set of fundamental principles um, that serve as the guidelines for further legislation and secondary laws. Okay, so um, basically in terms of uh, laws and regulations, uh, if you want more information on that, you can go um, to www.health.gov.il forward slash English, uh, English Topics Disabilities. Um, so on the top of this website, um, it talks about health policy plans, about the ministry, um, so on and so forth. So let's go here. The Ministry of Health uh, bears national responsibility ensuring the health and population of Israel. And this was really all started by help by Golda Meir and her way of thinking. Um, the ministry determines the policy of matters of health and medical services uh, for people with disability, people with special needs and many other people in Israel. Planning, supervision, and control, licensing, it helps. Um, if so in other words, if you're trying to find a doctor and you want to know if they're licensed, you, you go to this website. Um, the, ministry, the ministry deals with the organization, operation, and provision and preventive diagnostic treatment and rehabilitation, and research, and services. Um, directly via medical institutions. The, the ministry provides uh, health services in, in the field of hospitalization, uh, preventive medicine, and ensures the population of matters of mental health, mental and physical health, uh, genetics, <clears throat> public health, and rehabilitation uh, devices. Okay, so... Um, anything you want to say? Because we only have a little time left. Uh, um, not really. Okay. The ministry's vision um, in Israel for the health ministry to uphold the basic rights and health, um, health promotion for the entire Israel population through a medical system striving for the utmost excellence on, um, while, uh, while respecting the values of human and social dignity. The problem with people in the United States and organizations, again, um, and people in the United States, everybody here is, um, everybody in the United States is complacent. Um, you know, health here is always being cut. We always have to fight for Medicare and Medicaid. So um, there's no reason why... You have to fight for something that you want and you want it. And then no one give it to you. And mm -hmm. simply bills, they pile up on you. Exactly. Um, and here, here's another thing that uh, the health ministry does. They do a lot of research, and they're very efficient when it comes to that. Um, they deal with um, 
and and they deal with mental health, they deal with ger geriatrics. In other words, if you want to find out more about a nursing home, you, you can click here. So for more information on the health ministry um, and also and what's on to, what was on today's program. So for the health ministry, you can go to www.health.gov.il forward slash English um, and, and you can also get uh, that. And, and also, uh, for more information on the life of Golda Meir, you can go to Wikipedia and find out all kinds of things about her. I watched the film they had, a, a woman called Golda, starring um, um, Lennon Meanwhile in, in, in Yeah. Um, 1982, there was a movie um, about... Um, a woman called Golda, uh, which was a very good uh, movie as well. Um, yeah. Ingrid Berman played her, and meanwhile played her husband. Exactly. Um, the story the story was about a Russian-born, Wisconsin-raised woman who rose <clears throat> from to Israel's prime minister in the 1960s and 70s. Um, so you can go and... Um, Look on YouTube and look on that. Um, there's a book called uh, Lioness, Goes in My Ear in the Nation of Israel. Um, there's uh, one called My Life, Goes in My Ear, and um, there's several versions of that. Um, again, um, Goes in My Ear was born in 1898 and passed away 1978. And uh, for more information also on our show um, and more about the topics on our show today and future shows, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. Uh, thank you for joining us today and glad we can talk about Golda Meir and the progression of Israel and people with disabilities. Um, again, www. Um, orcamedia.net. This puts an end to this edition of Able Done on Air, but before we end, we would like to say um, th special thanks to our sponsors, um, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the help from the Association for the Blind of Vermont, the um, Division for the Blind of Vermont, um, the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition, the Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and many, many, many others. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. See you next time. Abled in On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yachad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Central Vermont, Habitat for Humanity. Able Dinner on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Dinner on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England, Chapter.